Tonight in our weekly community conversations, Charles Christian has Buchanan County Sheriff Bill Pewitt as his guest. Charles. All right, thank you, Morgan. And thank you, Sheriff Pewitt, for joining us tonight. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, it's always good to talk with you. Well, and this I'm is happy a, to be here. A little bit different setting than we usually talk to you Absolutely. in, though. There's been no crime committed that I know of. Well, tonight. not that I'm aware of, so <laughs> that's, right, that's good. good. Absolutely. That's good. Well, you, and I didn't realize before I started preparing how long you've been in law. You've been in law enforcement over 35 years. I, I have, certain. I came on in uh, March 17th of 1987. Is that, uh, yep. Wow. Well, uh, in that time, you've seen a lot of changes, a lot of trends that were happening. What are some of the trends you're seeing in regard to crime during the time you've served here in Buchanan County? Well, uh, first of all, I guess I'd say, you know, crime has become more global. And when I say global, we refer to that as, you know, we have individuals that come into our community and commit crimes. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't just, you know, uh, somebody who's running over here and, and from a neighborhood and stealing something else. I mean, we have, we have significant uh, crimes that uh, committed by people uh, from other cities in the state of Missouri or from other states. Uh, we also see, and we try to stress that, is that uh, crime is also global in the fact that people scam and steal uh, through the internet. Yeah. And uh, so they victimize our citizens, not only uh, from somewhere in the United States, they could be victimizing them from another country in the world, and it makes it really, really difficult. So we see a lot of that, and of course, child porn. Uh, mm. You know, there's lots of you know lots of issues there that are are concerning with global right. crime, human trafficking, uh, lots of lots of different changes that have occurred over the years, mm. and not for the not for the better. Well, you and you have special units now that deal with those kind of things that you probably didn't have at the start of your. We career. do, right. we do, we absolutely do, and we we tend to. Uh, try to address uh, you know those issues and as things emerge you know uh, I always like to say put resources to to the things that we need to uh, address and and because uh, we want to keep our community and our citizens as safe as we can sure well speaking of the resources like every industry every profession around these days uh, there's been some shortages and we've reported on that you've talked about that some sure. publicly even when you were running for office how are you addressing this and what are some factors that draw people into Buchanan County to serve uh, with you uh, on the force there? Okay, well, uh, and I'm always very happy to talk about how great our community is and our citizens because when uh, the law enforcement sales tax, the increase was passed by our citizens by a uh, enormous margin and we were so appreciative of that. Uh, so when, when you look at that, we're, we were able to provide an increase in salary which which is really encouraged a lot of people to apply you know at one point just to give some examples we were uh, 28 positions short mm -hmm. and we had so many people that were working uh, overtime and I, I wouldn't let them work double shifts but they were working days off and and just really covering but uh, you know we're down to about nine now yeah. and we're well, then of course we have those positions that are approved with the tax and so we, we you know we do that so it, it, we were able to give a salary increase plus we've done some uh, really u unique things we've done some incentives you know for step pay for longevity and and certifications and sure. and things like that which we never had before we're doing incentives for uh, having a degree we're doing some tuition reimbursement some assistance wow. to encourage that sure. you know uh, also some uh, uh, incentive pay for advanced certifications, for being involved in specialized units, uh, pay, paying paying people for their expertise and and helping uh, retain them, and you know one of the other things is that we're doing is that we're. Uh, we're sponsoring people to the academy, and so we're mm. we're we're giving a career path. Uh, you know, so if somebody comes in as a non-sworn member and starts working as a detention deputy in the jail, they have a path to maybe go to the academy and then become a deputy, and and mm. gives them a opportunity to move up in the organization and, and keeps sure. keeps people here in the community and serving serving our citizens. Great. Well, uh, now are there ways that I know the city and the county are both wrestling with this on different levels, and I know the city's not your purview per se, but sure. but uh, uh, are there ways that the city and the county uh, communicate about this, work together in regard to this? How we, does that go? We do, and uh, we, we work together in lots of uh, areas. We uh, we share expenses where we can. Uh, we we use uh, uh, 
personnel uh, and we split things like uh, the uh, special response team, electronic crimes, uh, the drug strike force works closely with the street crimes detectives. We uh, do co-trainings where we, we, we split the cost. We, uh, when we purchase equipment or software that uh, both agencies can use, we, we do that because we want most bang for the buck and we want to make sure that we're serving our citizens. And, and, and again, we have, we have lots of uh, issues of violence and drugs and things that are facing our community and we want to focus on that and, and address those issues for our citizens. Sounds good. Well, uh, one more uh, big question here, and it's sure. a weird one. Uh, Barbara Walters, one ready? Okay, <laughs> no. sure, absolutely. If, no, really, it's not that bad. But if you, based on the trends that you've seen, especially in the last few years, if you could wave a magic wand, and I know all crimes are important, they need to be dealt with, but if there's one persistent crime that you guys are always, that's always on your docket, if you could just wave a wand and get rid of one of them right now, what would that be? Well, I, I would have to say it would be uh, crimes against persons, okay. and they, it, that permeates into a lot of things, whether it's drugs or violence to children, violence to uh, domestic violence, things, the way that uh, individuals treat other other individuals and they victimize them, uh, that, that's, a, that's a huge issue for us, and if we could, if we could get people to uh, stop victimizing other people, that would be a tremendous step forward. Okay. And so. That's and great. that's that's one of the things we that we're trying to address. That's good. All right. Well, thank you very much. And uh, hey, I know it's early, but you, you going to run again? Running in 24 for sure. And okay. uh, then we'll we'll uh, hopefully, good Lord willing, and uh, the citizens of Buchanan County put me back in, and then, right. then we'll look again in 28. Okay. All right. Well, Sheriff Jeff Hewitt, thank you for joining us today. And uh, thank you for tuning in to Community Conversations with a new guest next Thursday. And we'll have more news after this.